The work I've made for Building 66 is titled Dispersed Events, and it's comprised of seven ceramic murals that are hung throughout the five floors around the atria of the building. I had decided to work in this material because it's something that I've been using for quite some time, but also because I remembered having been in other brutalist buildings um, where ceramic decoration was frequently used, and it seemed to animate the space in an interesting way. I worked with a historic ceramic studio in Italy called Bottega Gatti on producing these murals, which are made in different sizes and they're also comprised of tiles in different sizes. The technique I chose to work in is Maiolica, which is an old uh, stoneware painting technique known for its clarity of color, essentially, and detail. But I worked with the ceramic studio to modify the chemistry of some of the glazes so that they could handle the kind of wide washes of color that I wanted to use and different techniques that I wanted to superimpose on each of the murals. There was actually a sort of analog between the way that these glazes appear on the white ground that has a lot to do with the way I tend to work in drawing already. So I was able to build up layers and different ways of working that almost look like they've been made by different people all on the same surface. One of the other things that I really liked about working in this way is that it's not as direct as my usual way of working because Maiolica requires three stages of firing, one for the original blank tile, the second for the white ground, and the third for the colored pigments. So there's a lot of activity that happens in those three firings that changes the material, in particular in the last firing where the color relationships with different densities of colors can produce really surprising results. And the other thing is that the white ground picks up every little trace, every mark, every spill, every drop, so that both intentional and accidental incidents in the making of this work are registered completely on the surface. And that was something that I thought would be really important to have in a building as sort of rigid and programmatic as this, to have these murals that actually are kind of recordings of their own making. For a while I've been thinking about how to bring a very intimate approach to drawing to bear on more social spaces and oftentimes that's meant sort of finding ways to allow drawing to come into architecture. This work r really gave me the opportunity to continue something I've been investigating in the last couple of years which is to bring drawing in this kind of directness as a process of thinking to the full scale of a building site. During one of my first visits to the building, there was some renovation underway and of course all the walls were blank but some of them also were covered up by sheetrock. There was a way in which I felt that the original character of the building had been softened and covered up over the years, I think in a way to make it friendlier to the people who use it. I wanted to actually peel away a lot of those things to get it back to the concrete that is actually quite beautiful, and then to use that as a support for the work that I wanted to introduce. I realized that there were these troughs built into the balconies filled with gravel. Um, they clearly had a watering system, but they were unused. It became clear that these were poured into the original structure to be used as planters for plants to cascade down. And so part of my proposal was simply to use what's already a part of, of the building and to reanimate those planters. So. They've been planted with pothos, which is starting to grow now, which hopefully over the years will really make a curtain or something like that. I've met students here who have immediately found corollaries between the kinds of processes that, that made this work and some of the techniques that they use in their own work, which I, of course, find fascinating. You know, I've also met students who have barely noticed that anything has changed in this building, and that's part of the life of this work now.